I want to explain to you guys what the Can-Am rock really is. Uh, I just opened everything up and now I fully understand. The rock is when, I, when, I, when you put it into high gear and it doesn't really line up and you got to rock the machine back and forth with your legs to get it to pop in. So I want to show you exactly what that is. So you see the, the gear shifter there has all the different spots for the gears. And then you have the linkage coming down to here. And this just rotates like this spinning shaft inside the gearbox uh, when you select the gear. So I have the gearbox opened up. I'm doing some work on the, the high gear because I've had some grinding issues. So let me show you exactly. So when you put it into high, there's a cam here and they have different slots and that rotates and the slots would move in and out on a pin. On this pin over here, and this is like a, a fork that moves that in and out. So this is the high gear, right? This spins freely on a bearing. So when you're neutral, just spinning and nothing happens. When you move the shifter, the cam would move this, this thing in and that is what engages the gear. And once that's engaged, so you can't move, that's what drives the machine. Now, the problem lies with this. This is a brand new one, and I replaced it because mine were worn out. You see the square edge on those dogs or pins? That is what goes inside of this gear on the side. And you can see there's six slots. So you have three pins here, and that is what engages and drives. So when you have the Can-Am rock, so if it lines up straight with the hole, it's just gonna go in place and lock in and start driving. You wouldn't have the rock. The problem comes when this dog meets up with that flat spot in the gear and it butts against it. And then you have to rock the machine to let it slide into place. Rocking the machine will essentially move this gear back and forth. And then this, this dog would fall into the hole and engage. So that's exactly what it is. And let me show you once I put this back on the shaft, it's kind of hard once I took it off. Okay, so see, this is gonna move into the gear and it's gonna bottom out and it's not engaged. And the rock would move this gear and that would fall into place and engage the gear, just like that. So you see it's sticking out, you rock it and that falls in. And that exactly, is what's causing the Can-Am rock. Well, I got everything here put back together. Gearbox is working, working, spinning freely now, working nice. Well, I got the gearbox put together and I just wanted to mention one more thing about the Can-Am rock. Now, seeing how everything works, I actually think it's not a bad thing. Uh, if you're trying to adjust your, your your gear lever, your linkage, so it doesn't, so it's easier to go in. That means that that sleeve is just gonna be further away and there's a greater chance that the gear's grinding. You want that solid engagement. So a little suffer from the Can-Am rock ain't gonna hurt anything.